Hi XR developers! In this video, we're going to look at how to get started with MetaQuest development in Unity. If you just got your MetaQuest and you would like to develop for the Meta ecosystem, this tutorial is for you. In this video, we're going to set up your development environment and headset, install and use the MetaQuest developer hub, and finally create our first VR app on the MetaQuest. If you enjoy this type of videos and you would like to support me, please check out my Patreon where you can find all the source codes for each tutorial or simply subscribe to this channel. For any questions, feel free to join our XR Developers Discord community. Now, let's get started. The recommended process of developing apps in Unity for MetaQuest follows a basic pattern. Firstly, you would get familiar with and set up your development environment, which usually consists of your hardware, like your Quest and your computer, a game engine like Unity in this case, as well as any additional software that is required or very helpful in development, such as the MetaQuest Developer Hub. Secondly, you start reading the documentation, getting familiar with the key terms, and building your first app fast. Make mistakes fast and learn from them as well as try to fix them by looking at the documentation yourself. Thirdly, know how to properly download, install, and update the necessary SDKs and XR plugins for MetaQuest development. Then, number four, learn new tools to make your development even faster, such as the project setup tool, the Meta XR simulator, and building blocks. Number five, and at this time you will already have a good understanding of the Meta ecosystem and the Oculus integration for Unity, we are then ready to develop basic apps and study existing samples for different features such as hand tracking, pass-through mode, or voice SDK. At this point, we are ready to fully embrace and dive into the MetaPresence platform, which includes capabilities like mixed reality, consisting of pass-through, spatial anchors, and scene understanding, then interactions consisting of the interaction SDK, hand tracking, voice SDK, tracked keyboard, audio SDK, and virtual keyboard. And finally, Social presence, consisting of the movement SDK for eye, face, and body tracking. Lastly, after learning about all of those concepts, there is still more to explore such as performance optimizations, how to distribute your app on App Lab or the MetaQuest Store, how to design user experiences, or simply explore new and upcoming developer tools. Let's finally dive into the setup of the development environment. We require any MetaQuest headset, such as MetaQuest 2, 3 or Pro, and a computer with a 2.0 GHz processor or higher and at least 2 GB of RAM. It can either run Windows 10 or higher, or Mac OS, Sierra 10 or higher. If you are setting up your MetaQuest for the first time, install the Oculus mobile app from Google Play or the App Store and follow either the instructions on your phone and inside your MetaQuest, or simply follow this in-depth tutorial from Meta on how to set up your MetaQuest. Then we are ready to install the Unity Hub. Go to the website in the description and download the installer and begin the installation. Once everything is ready, you can sign into your Unity account and choose your license, either free or professional will work. Next, we can finally install our Unity editor. Understanding these different versions is very important. Meta recommends us to use Unity 2021 LTS. To learn more about the different versions, Check out the Unity download archive, the link is in the description. Let's select the latest Unity 2021 LTS version and make sure to select the necessary modules. If you haven't installed any IDE like Visual Studio, definitely also do this here. I have it installed so I unselect it. For MetaQuest, it is necessary to include all the Android modules. If you forgot to add them, don't worry, you can always go back and add additional modules. Just go to the Installs tab and click on the gear icon and choose your modules. Next, let's create our first app. We open the Projects tab, select New Project, and select our Unity version that we would like to create our app in. Then we select a template and the render pipeline. I recommend starting out with the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP for short. Let's give our project a name, choose a place to save it, and then since Unity Hub version 3.6, we also have to select our Unity organization if we want to use Unity Cloud and Unity's version control. We don't, 
so we uncheck it. Then click on Create Project. Once the project is open, let's place our first game object in our scene. Let's right-click into our hierarchy and create a new sphere. Let's position it a little bit forward on the z-axis and reduce its size to 0.2. Make sure to save your project frequently. Before we continue, let's open the build settings and make sure we are on the Android platform. Pro tip, make sure to switch to the Android platform before importing any assets or package since it will otherwise take a long time to recompile your project. Then, go to the project settings and then down to the XR plugin management. And let's install it. Once installed, we can install the XR plugins we need for our device. For MetaQuest, you can either choose the Oculus plugin or the OpenXR plugin. Let's keep it simple for now and go with the Oculus plugin and check the checkbox for Android and Windows. We are finally ready to import our first SDK, which is the Oculus integration from Meta. There are multiple ways how to install this package. You can either download the Unity asset from the Developer Center and then simply drag it into your project window. This can be helpful if you need to find and install an older version, which you can select in the drop-down window here. However, an even easier way is to use the Unity asset store directly you can find the link in the description. We simply add the package to our assets and then open it in our package manager. Go to My Assets, search for the Oculus integration and wait a little bit for Unity to find it in your assets. Click on Download and then on Import. When clicking on Import, you can see all the folders and files included in the Oculus integration. You rarely will use all of them. This is why Starting from version 59 onwards, Meta will split up different features in separate Unity packages, which can be found separately on the Unity Asset Store. The all-in-one package that we now used for version 57 will not be available anymore. You may be wondering now which separate packages you will need. But don't worry, Meta has listed all packages on this page, and I will leave the link in the description. The packages you will use most likely are the core package, containing essential functionalities for your camera rig and controllers, as well as the interaction package. Adding interactions like ray, poke, locomotion, and grab for controllers, hands, and controllers as hands. So make sure to get familiar with its structure to keep your project as lean as possible. For the sake of simplicity, let's import all and see what we are working with here. During the setup process, you will get several dialog windows. Just accept each one until your Unity project will restart and you are finally ready to use all the features Meta has to offer. With the Oculus integration installed, we have access to the so-called Project Setup tool, which is the small Oculus logo at the bottom of our editor. Here we can see all the recommended changes to our project settings that optimize our app for MetaQuest development. This is super practical and saves us a lot of time configuring our project. Let's apply all the changes now. Awesome guys, we now continue with the development of our app. We delete the main camera in our scene and instead search for OVR camera rig in the project windows search bar. Then drag it into your scene. Let's click on it and let's look at the OVR manager, which is the heart of our player. In the settings, let's make sure to set the tracking origin type to floor and check the checkbox for our device. Now, testing your app on the device itself before deployment is crucial and Meta offers multiple ways on how to do that. Let me show you a very neat tool allowing you to test your app directly from the editor, namely the Oculus Link app. Keep in mind that this app only runs on Windows computers. Also, Make sure you have a graphics card and at least 8 GB of RAM. When using the Oculus Link app, you can check the requirements in the description below. Let's download the software now and install it on our machine. You can find the link in the description below. Once installed, log into your account and go to the Settings tab. Under General next to OpenXR Runtime, select Set Oculus as Active. If it is already active, it will be grayed out. 
Finally, let's go to the Devices tab and connect our MetaQuest to our Windows PC by cable. Make sure you follow the setup instructions and agree to any dialog window inside your device. Once set up, you can choose to either connect your device using a The Link cable or AirLink, which means just using your Wi-Fi to connect to your PC. This can be achieved by using the toggle in your MetaQuest menu. When connecting to Oculus Link, you will be brought into another environment inside your MetaQuest, where you can even see your PC screen. You can either press play here directly inside your headset or normally on your PC. And as we can see, we can now look around in our MetaQuest and see our sphere that we placed before. We can also see the exact same in our Unity editor. Now, this tool alone doesn't let you realistically test your app since it's running on your PC and just showing the image on your MetaQuest. To accurately test your app and especially also its performance, you will need to build and install an APK, which can be done in several ways. If we open the build settings again, we can see two buttons saying build or build and run. Now, the fastest way is to connect our MetaQuest. Refresh the device list, select our device, and then click on build and run. Once the process is finished, this will start the APK on our device. This is great for quick testing, and with Unity's incremental builds, only the first time building will take several minutes, and after that, each change and additional build will take merely seconds. But what if we want more control over our testing process? Maybe we want to start and stop or directly uninstall our app again. Or maybe we would like to measure our performance inside the headset or record some gameplay. For this, let's take the APK that was created from Build and Run or simply build a new one and then install the so-called MetaQuest Developer Hub or MQHD for short, which is the last tool we will look at in this video. Also, this software runs both on Windows and macOS. The MQHD is a must for every developer and allows you to connect your headset to your PC, either through cable or Wi-Fi, lets you disable your guardian for testing, receive device logs, capture screenshots and videos, deploy apps, cast your gameplay directly to your PC, and download the latest MetaQuest tools and SDKs. All right, let's download the MQDH for your operating system and install it. Once that's done, we connect our device. Allow USB debugging inside your headset and follow the setup. Very importantly, if you haven't activated the developer mode yet, you can do so by either doing that now, by selecting it when it pops up in the dialog window in the setup, or by going to the menu inside your Oculus mobile app, then devices, and then select your device and open the headset settings where you can toggle the developer mode. Without the developer mode, you cannot install your APK on your device. Now take your APK from before and simply drag and drop it into the apps tab in the developer hub. This will install the APK on your device. On the right side, you will have options now to start and stop or uninstall your APK. If you have any recordings or screenshots on your device, you can simply access them by going to the file manager and open them in the file explorer. Awesome guys, and that's how you get started with MetaQuest development and set up the most important developer tools. Thank you so much for watching and definitely keep an eye out for new tutorials and also for the new mixed reality features, especially for the MetaQuest 3 and Pro. See you in the next video.